Prayer, Opus 25, Number 5. This is found in the Etude Book of the Celebration Series. Um, this piece is written in a hymn or a style where you have many voices going on at the same time. And before you begin, you want to get very comfortable with an E-flat major scale. at the beginning we have an E flat major scale right over here I'll do it in red E flat major key signature with three flats take a moment and spell them it should be in this order B flat E flat and A flat now one thing you can do um, and I wouldn't do it on my original I do it on a copy is you could take um, your copy and you could circle all the E flats. You know, it's a good habit to see if you are recognizing them. You may notice right away that those E flats are all found in that third space in the bass clef. In the other hand, we've got E flat in the first line. You see why you wouldn't want to do this on your original. So you do this on a copy. It becomes really obvious that the first line is an E flat. This is a tie. But I'll, I'll mark that E flat. Here it is again, a tie. All right. So there's quite a lot of E flats. Um, let's see if there are any A flats. An A flat would be in that second line. There's an A flat. Um, I'm going through and I'm really checking out A flats. On the left hand, it's the top line. Mm, got a lot of flats to deal with. Oops, I missed an E flat. Look at that. I'll go back and find that E flat. Okay, back to A flats. All right, so it's okay if you miss them. And then finally, we've got uh, so we did E flats and A flats. I'm going to look for B flats. I'm going to make them pink. I'll do the right hand first. So there's one down there. That's the ledger line note. It would also be the third line here. It's kind of fun to do. Hmm, got a D flat there. That's interesting. All right. Left hand, I've got some B flats as well. So take a moment and do this on your copy. Now it's not going to be so easy to read. This is more for theory, just so that you can recognize that there are a lot of them. So that when I'm playing this, I realize now I've got a lot of black keys to wonder about. And so the question is, um, if you notice over here, I'm going to change this color. Um, you'll see, for instance, I've got my two on that E flat. When I go down to the B flat, I'm going to use my pinky. And in fact, when I play the opening notes in the left hand, it forms a chord. Can you guess? Think about it. I hope you came up with an E flat major chord. It's arpeggiated. And we've got it in the second inversion. And then to reach this A flat, I'm crossing over. so far avoiding my thumb hitting anything but white keys on the first line and in this, this check the second line yeah same thing here my thumb is playing white keys but this notice this change here this is this is different notice I had a 
over here I had a thumb on the G and now I have a three on the G and now my thumb can move to reach that B natural. That's kind of a, a nice fingering. So you want to practice this fingering. Okay, when I go on, here I notice my thumb is more comfortable to play that, that e, e flat. Here again, my thumb is going to play that D flat. Here again, my thumb is playing the B flat down here. Now, my thumb is here and it's going to move gently to reach that A flat. Here again, my thumb is on a black key. I personally like to put a 2 and a 3 here. I'm going to use the same fingering again. I think it's more comfortable. So this little pattern here is being repeated a step lower. And I'm going to use a 4 here. My thumb reaches up here and we come down. Alright, so listen to the left hand. I lift my hand and move my 3 to the C. Use your 2 here on the C. And we'll make the next part. And I use that same fingering. Did you notice that, that that we just played is the same thing I circled earlier down here? check out the the structure of this piece so let's do that for a minute and let's do that in a nice happy yellow so we start with an, an A section So far, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it didn't quite end in a way that sounded like it was over. The first section sounds like it's over. Here's measure five. Here's an answer. Now he goes into what I will call Let's call this B, because that was really new. And then this, C. And then when we get down to here, measure 17, it sounds like we're doing C again. There's good news. bit of a change here right down there there's the change but generally it is the same so we'll go to C with a little prime and then yeah so we've basically got three sections to work on now here comes the right hand What I want to do is make it a legato, so I'm really going to try to get my sound whenever I can. I'm going to make it smooth. That fingering is good. Mm -hmm. When you get to here, Hold that F down all the way. Notice the E flat is held. This is all repeated. Again, that F is held. All right, here we go. 
now that's a pretty messy um, everything that I hear is, is all over the place so um, I want to go back to my original so you can see it and I'm going to play through it All right, so nice and clean again. Here is how I would practice, left hand alone. Legato. That's a forte. that fingering he wants you to hold down that F replace it with the pinky and then you can have a more legato there final full now it says with pedal I haven't been using pedal that will help I'm pedaling every chord 